Welcome to Advanced Java. This is Dennis. I'm going to quickly go through Assignment 7. Assignment 7 requires you to write a program that prompts the user to enter an integer, in this case m, and find the smallest integer n such that n times m times n is a perfect square. How do you do it? The hint is to store the smallest factors of the value entered m into an array list, uh, and then take those smallest factors uniquely. Uh, let, let me rephrase that. Then go through those smallest factors and count the odd number of times those smallest factors appear in that list, and then take the unique odd number of odd factored values and get their product. So here I go. Uh, two, three, five. Two, three, three, and five are the factors uh, for 90. Uh, the odd numbers is the one and the or the two and the five this appears once this appears once these two are twice so these are my two and my five my odd the product is 10. let's take a look at my design tool so step one i ask the user for a number then i take the number and i find the first or the smallest factor of that number i place that number in a list for later use then i reduce the number by that factor me dividing it uh by this number uh and I continue reducing, storing, reducing, storing until the original number goes down to one. Then I take that list and I go through and I look for the uh, unique odd values and I parse them out. I'm actually putting them into a unique list of the odd values. Once I have that unique list of odd values created, I get their product and that is now my answer or the smallest value uh, that would form this perfect square. And then I take that and display the app. So as you all know, this is a solution, not the solution. Uh, it's not the most elegant code, but it works. I do a little bit of checking, not a lot. So I come in this program and I get, uh, I set up my scanner. Uh, and I basically have two variables in my scope of main. That would be the value I'm scanning in. And then the result of the, uh, of getting the smallest perfect, smallest value to form a perfect square. So here I call a function get the value, and here I call a function to return the smallest value of the perfect square. And afterwards, I probably should have done this in a function, but I just play the output. And I say function because I was creating uh, Python and, and uh, C. I meant method, 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 and method. So if I ever say function, I apologize. I mean method. So here's my method to get the value, and that's pretty simple. So uh, to compute my perfect uh, square or my, I, this is the code. So I have my two lists. My two lists would be uh, the list where I'm going to stick all the factors in it, and then the second list is where I'm going to stick my odd number of those factors uh, uniquely in this list. So there's as, as I said in my pseudocode, I'm going to come in and I'm going to find the smallest factor. I'm going to add it to a list. And I'm going to continue until I exhaust the number. Uh, how do I get the smallest factor? I'm sorry. After I'm done with that, then I'm going to come in and I'm going to get my odd counts. My odd counts. So I'm going to go through all the numbers in the list. I'm going to then use a second inner loop going through all the numbers in the list. And I'm going to count the, uh, the number of times it appears inside of my inner loop. And when I get out of that inner loop, if that number is odd, uh, then I put it in this temporary list. I call it test if seen. And the reason I call it test if seen is if it's already in the list, I don't add it. But if it's not in the list, I do add it. Uh, when I'm all said and done, I have this unique list of, uh, odd, of the odd count numbers. I Break my, I set my resolve to one so that I don't multiply by zero. And I just loop through this list and I multiply all the factors together. And there's my result. Here's how I do the test of scene. I pass uh, the list in here. Uh, that would be my unique odd number list. And I pass the current number in here. If that list already contains a number, I do not add it. If it is not in the list, if it's not in the list, then I add it. So when I'm all said and done, this list is going to be the unique odd values. 
here's how I find the smallest factor, and I'm sure you're good with that. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to run it. Let's see what happens. So when I run it, the first thing it does is ask for a number. 90. We know the answer is 10. So 90 times 10 is a perfect square. I think another test case was, uh, I don't know, um, 1,500, I think. And if your code was right, uh, the answer is 15. And we could do any set of numbers we want. Uh, 66. And the perfect, smallest number to form a perfect square is 74. Uh, and so on. So that's it. I don't want to bore you too long. Uh, that's my solution. A cool thing to do that I'm going to do when I have some spare time is I'm going to create, redo this. Uh, and I'm going to create an object. I'm going to create a separate class with unique methods with methods in that class. And then I'm going to create an object uh, of that class. And I believe it's going to have two fields, the value and the uh, smallest. All right. I'll play with that later. Thank you. Have a good day.